Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Kastner, and we're here at the Kellogg School Garden. Today, we're gonna talk about a process that is happening all the time, even though we might not know it. That process is decomposition. Can you say that word, decomposition? So what is decomposition? Decomposition is nature's way of recycling. Decomposition is when organic materials, so things like dead leaves or old vegetable scraps or old logs get broken down into simpler organic matter, which basically looks like soil, but only organic materials, so things that come from nature can be decomposed, not things like plastic or aluminum. So how do things like vegetable scraps and old leaves get broken down into this with the help of decomposers, nature's cleanup crew. Decomposers are things like fungus, bacteria, and invertebrates. Have you heard of any of those things before? Let's learn a little bit more about these decomposers. We'll start with bacteria. Bacteria is a decomposer that is so small you can't even see it, but in every handful of soil, there is lots of bacteria. It's the good kind though, and it can basically eat anything. Fungus. You've probably seen some fungus before. Mold or mushrooms. Those are also considered decomposers. And of course, invertebrates, which are critters like worms and slugs and roly polies and so many more. All of these critters, the fungus, the bacteria, the invertebrates, are key to breaking down organic materials by eating, digesting, and then excreting them. Let's go explore the garden to find some decomposers at work. So here we have two logs that look really different. This log is still mostly intact from what we can tell, but this log over here has already started to be broken down by our decomposers. And you can see that lots of the pieces of it are actually gone. Here are some fungus growing on one of our stumps. Just lifted up this pot and underneath found some evidence of decomposers. Those white things that look like little strings are actually a part of some fungus. I found a slug friend, which is one of our invertebrates. Do you see what I see? This roly-poly, one of our decomposers. And of course, a worm, one of the best decomposers. They eat a lot of organic material, digest it, and then excrete it. And that helps to put nutrients back in the soil. Okay, so we were able to find lots of decomposers here in the school garden. We were able to see plenty of fungus and lots of invertebrates. And even though we couldn't see the bacteria, we know that it's there. Decomposers play such an important role in nature. If it weren't for decomposers, our world would look so different. We would be buried in tons of dead leaves and sticks and vegetable scraps. So we're really thankful for the work that the decomposers do, especially in our compost pile. Next time, we're gonna dig into our compost and see what else we can learn about some of our special decomposers. Thanks everybody for coming along on our garden exploration today, learning all about decomposition and decomposers. See you next time.